to this session about editing English Wikipedia. We happen to be administrators on English Wikipedia, but this isn't going to be specific to, I have a super tool I'm going to teach you. No, okay? This is about people who are longtime editors and who might know some tips and tricks, okay? So why don't we go ahead and get started. Next slide. Next slide, this is our agenda, next slide. Okay, some common mistakes that maybe you know about and maybe you don't. So let's start with a show of hands. Who's been editing, if you're in the room and you have edited English Wikipedia before, raise your hand. If you've edited Wikipedia for more than one year, keep your hand up. If you've edited Wikipedia more than three years, keep your hand up. Okay, I got a pretty good idea. Okay. So, some common mistakes. Go back one slide, please. Okay. Attempting to create a new article until you understand how to edit an article. It maybe sounds obvious, but really you should understand. And it's not just understanding something called a policy or notability or reliable sources. It's just really understanding how English Wikipedia works. There are similarities with other language Wikipedias, French, Arabic, and so forth, but there are some differences. So please, don't start creating new articles until you understand how to improve an article, because those two tie themselves together. Another thing to mention that I've noticed with newer editors is the use of non-encyclopedic tone in articles. Wikipedia has a policy that it's called peacock, meaning adding fluffy words. It's a signal to the person who's reviewing an article that maybe this person who wrote it doesn't understand. We keep things verifiable and in a tone that's true for an encyclopedia, not just something you would write in maybe a blog post or on social media online. So avoid using words that are, for example, um, Jane Doe, born in this year, died in this year, was a very famous um, writer from this particular country. Her grandfather was the most illustrious poet of the time. Things like most illustrious, we wouldn't need to include them. Okay? And then third bullet point, common mistake is using references which aren't considered reliable sources on English Wikipedia. Okay? Maybe they're reliable on a different language Wikipedia, but on English Wikipedia, you can't use anything from social media. Facebook, no. LinkedIn, no. TikTok, no. You can't use those as reliable sources. You can't use blog posts. There's an exception. In the New York Times, you know, a review of someone's book, and it shows up in the New York Times Sunday edition blog post. Yes, you can include that. I didn't make the rule. How do you remember this? I don't know. Just mm -hmm. don't use blog posts. Okay? Uh, let's go to the next slide. So common tips and tricks. So I do a lot of new page patrol. And we'll look at that as a demonstration in a little bit. One thing that we see if we're doing new page patrol is information about the author. If the author's name, their username is in red, it means they haven't put anything on their user page about themselves. And it's a signal to the reviewer that this person hasn't taken the time or even knows how to put something on the user page. So let me suggest right here, please, put something on your user page. I am not suggesting you identify yourself, not by name, not by gender, not by geography. In fact, I'm suggesting do not include that. Write something that is innocuous. I give the suggestion of, I like to take my dog for a walk on the beach. Okay, you wrote something on your page. It's not read anymore. Don't identify who you are. Yes, I have. 
on mine. But that was a personal choice, and what I I did it in two thousand seven. Would I have done it today? I don't know. But I'm suggesting you don't. You can change what you write in your music. You can do with you. You can update it. You can add things. But first, start. If you haven't written anything on there, don't identify yourself by geography, gender, by anything that someone can understand who you are. Okay. There's a caveat to that too. There's a conflict of interest, but in the interest of time, we won't go into that. Okay. I know that Asaf has their presentation. He talks about active editor status. An active editor on English Wikipedia means five edits per month. Five edits per month. And I can tell you on English Wikipedia, all you are doing is by that it's a month that you're not considered very active. You need to have a higher edit count before your edits somehow seem to have some kind of initial scrutiny, like people think, I have confidence in this person, they know what they're doing. I encourage you to edit more and know that even something as simple as adding a comma, click save, that's an edit. Adding a word, Click save, that's an edit. Adding a sentence, click save, that's an edit. So the amount of things that you put in an article doesn't matter. It's how many times you click save, even adding a comma, punctuation, and then clicking save counts. I will tell you that I added maybe a thousand commas at one time in my early years on Wikipedia, not because I wanted to build an edit account, but because my mother was an English teacher and she taught me when you use a comma and it was blaring for me to see English Wikipedia articles that said in 1492, he, and there's no comma after the year. <laughs> Just. Be responsive. Be polite, be friendly. There will be people who will be leaving notes on your talk page or the article talk page that you have been working on, and they will signal you by putting the at sign, the pink sign, the new sign, the RTO sign. And all I'm asking you is remember, don't think she will hide. Don't go run and hide. Stay calm and respond. Respond and be friendly. If you don't know what they're saying, say that. Hi. Thank you for your note. I don't understand what I did wrong. Did you explain it better? But be responsive. Don't not respond. Don't run and hide or put your head in the sand. Do respond and be polite when you do it. Meet your new best friend. We're going to go in the demonstration part of today to look at this page. Your new best friend, the Wikipedia Talk Wiki Project Africa. Why am I bringing this up? I'm the co founder of a community that's now on 33 language Wikipedias called Wiki Project Women in Red. What Women in Red is famous for is creating more content, more articles about women, like I said, in 33 different language Wikipedias, women's biographies, women's works, women's issues. That's what we're known for. But in my opinion, the best thing that happened that we are doing isn't even that. It's the talk page. We'll look at women in it. But the talk page is so robust. Thousands of comments by people who created an article and there was a problem. And there they wrote, hi, I created the article on Jane Doe. It's been nominated for deletion. Can someone please help? Can someone please help find more references? Can someone please help with the tone? Someone wrote that like, it's got peacock troops. What is that? I don't know, please help. So your talk page, and in this case, I'm suggesting Wikipedia Talk, Wikipedia Project Africa, is a very important place that could be so robust, where together you share the issues about content, and together, plus with everybody else in the world, 
It's not limited who lives in a certain geographic area to belong to that project. Just like Ricky Project Women in Red, it's not limited to women. If 85% of the editors on English Wikipedia are men, 85% of the people writing on that talk page are men. 85% of the people who are writing those articles about women are men. We don't know who anyone is. We all have usernames that would be very unique. We don't identify anything about us. So I'm saying this is the place where I suggest you put your comments. Currently, there's 1,600 comments on there written by 481 editors. There are 210 page watchers. There have been 125 page views in 30 days. But look at this for women in red, there have been 2,700 page views in 30 days. So a lot of people helping save articles about women. We can do the same thing for articles about Africa. Next slide. The basics of article improvement. I suggest that if you don't want to read policies, that you look at five or 15 or 55 articles that are in the same category of the article you want to write about and learn from it. For example, where if you want to write about Moroccan rivers or in Morocco, go to the category for rivers of Morocco. Take a look at those articles. How are they set up? What do the headers look like? What do the references look like? How do the categories look like? How does the first sentence look like? How about the second sentence? Is there an image? And then try to emulate what you saw because someone already read the policies before they wrote that article or those 15 articles about a Moroccan river. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just emulate what you saw here and do it here on your new article about a river of Morocco. Okay. Um, improving articles, easy ones that don't require you to look for a reference. Add a header. Which header, Rosie? Well, river. If it's a Moroccan river, look at those 15 other articles about a river in Morocco and what headers do they use? And then ensure that you're using those headers in an article you're trying to improve. Dinner with categories. What categories do they have? Add it to this article. What do they have an image? And you can find an image on Wikimedia Commons, have the image. They have two images, all of them have three images. Can you find three images for your article? Look, missing punctuation. I won't belabor the point about commas, but double the lead I will comment on. So what we did with women in red, again, another group on Wikipedia who dealt with harassment, discrimination, systemic bias over the course of millennia. No one was writing about women. Very hard to find references, and yet we do. It's something we call double the lead. If you know anything about academic writing, you know that a lead paragraph should be a paragraph. <laughs> but so many articles on Wikipedia, the lead paragraph is one sentence. One sentence does not make a paragraph. So look at that article that has information in there that's already referenced and take one sentence that's already referenced, copy, paste it, and put it in the lead. So it's not one sentence, it's two. And I use double the lead. You don't have to do this just for African content. Build up your edit count by doing it on sports figures or cars or cuisine on any subject you like, you understand what I'm trying to say, is that this improves Wikipedia for society, and it also, you are learning as you are doing, and you're improving Wikipedia. If in doubt, right on the article talk page, I want to add this, and I'm not sure about it, and somebody let me know what they think. So if you don't want to go to Wikipunch Africa and ask, which is where I would suggest you do, ask on the article top page. 
even professional like Kaiwas. Next slide. So I wanted to touch briefly on talk page communications. There's a lot of ways that people can communicate with you on Wiki. And I'm a big fan of keeping all the conversations on Wiki instead of on Facebook, on Telegram, on email, on all the things that are not on Wiki. If you're talking about content on English Wikipedia. Okay. So we'll start with your talk page. I don't think I can demonstrate how to get to your talk page, but the editing should know how to get to your talk page. If you like someone writes to you and write so that they know you bring it to them by using the curly cues you and their name, or curly cues with ping and their name. And if you're writing back the three people, it's curly cues RTO and their three usernames. Well, do reply if you be blind. Ask them to smell what they're saying. One thing I'd like to do is add welcome messages on people's pages, on top pages. It demonstrates that you recognize you're a little further ahead. You already have an account. You've already been editing. And you're being nice to them by providing that information. It's one of the clickables that allows you, there's a choice of a dozen different messages. I prefer the one that's called cookies. Cookies show up on the page. It's I think five chocolate chip cookies. In my mind, when someone sees that, their first thought is, okay, I didn't do anything bad. Because <laughs> here's a plate of cookies. There's also a bunch of words. And I don't know what any of this means and why they're asking me to look at all these things that I'd have to click to. It can't be too bad. Because look, there's a plate of cookies. <laughs> but you choose what you want to leave. We talked a little bit about um, the Wiki Project's talk page, but I want to touch briefly on other talk pages. I know some of you have said you've been banned. If you've been banned, there's probably a conversation on the administrator's notice board. You would have been linked to that. You would have known someone's discussing your behavior at a and I. If someone's doing that, it's a different talk page. You've got to pay me. Respond. Don't ignore it. Can be professional, be polite, and if you don't understand what they're asking of you, just ask. We don't want to be friendly. I'm not necessarily talking about your 15 year old next door neighbor or my 15 year old next door neighbor. Saying general with median who doesn't want to be a jerk, don't want to go ahead and explain things to you. So bail yourself of it and don't ignore it because that's a good way to get yourself. Um, Next slide, please. Okay. Connect your articles across with media projects. So let's start with this. If there is already an existing article about this particular river in Morocco, in some language with media, there will be an item for it in Wikimata. Show of hands who's familiar with Wikimata. But if this is brand new, no one anywhere in any language has written about this river in Morocco, there won't be an item in Wikidata, and then it falls on somebody to create it. It could be you, if you know what you're doing, or it's going to be left for someone else if you don't. But here's why I'm bringing it up. I'm a new page patroller, and if I want to review that article, that is um, at New Page Patrol, and I click on it, and it's about a river in Morocco. And I check the languages at the top, right? And there's zero other languages, because it will show me what Wikidata says. I am going to be a little suspicious. Why is there no language Wikipedia writing about this river? So, let it be something that you recall that someone has got to do this. If it's not you, it's somebody else. And we do look at that just to help us understand notability. And these are interwiki links. 
um, comments categories. So Mike is going to talk a little bit about comments. I don't know if you want to talk about that. I just want to say, if you would, about this. So um, as well as um, we can know that you connecting local carbon which holds media photo, and often there will be a category or that which may be related to your article. If you can link those, then it shows it demonstrates for uh, the real data for the person that very much information that can be found about it. So it demonstrates more notability and makes it more um, likely to stay in the industry in the long term. There's also things you can do by thinking with geographic coordinates. So if you know where, if you're writing about a village and you know where that village is, put that into the article with a template you can use to do that. And that shows, look, this is a real place. And people can go on Google Maps through the satellite and see that it's there. And that again, it increases the notability and makes it um, more likely that people will recognize the article, work on it themselves. To be able to find more information about it. Also helps photographers go so find that village they photographed it as well. And um, the other thing is, it, it's not anything um, in your language or media, um, because you all have the advantage of speaking multiple languages, um, which is more than most of the you're beginning to do. But you can create articles in those languages as well, and then uh, um, or work on articles in those languages, link them against things with media. And that shows that this is a real concept, a real uh, important thing for Africa. That because it's had multiple uh, with people are written about multiple languages. So again, they really emphasize it's an important um, and piece of ground work and and also I encourage you like ancient media has a bit of visibility. But it's also one of the most complicated projects to be involved in. And you can start at the other end, look on commons, put photographs of data on the comments of people, build up to the Wikipedia type, and build up to English Wikipedia at the time, maybe to another language Wikipedia, and layer it so that it's always demonstrated. So at this point, I'll have back to Rosie, this demonstration. Thank you, Mike. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Right, so let's do a demonstration actually looking at some English Wikipedia pages. The first one is going to be Wiki Projects. Let's start with uh, going to English Wikipedia and typing Wikipedia colon Wiki Project Africa. Wiki Project being um, one word, but camel piece. Uh, it'll need to be Wikipedia colon Wikipedia project number. Oh. Colon. Is that the colon? Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think you have a colon. Okay. Now. Uh, I think you have a semicolon. You can yeah. see the colon. Oh. Wait, which one is the? Sorry, English is not my first language. There you go. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Then there are thousands. I know at one time it was over 2,000. I don't know now how many Wiki projects we have on English, Wikipedia, not a lot of them. And that's where a lot of work happens. These are the top pages for these Wiki projects. At one time, the number one most active was military history. Mm -hmm. And then it became women in red. And then it became military history. <laughs> and then women in red. But this is the one we're going to focus on. If we're talking about content related to Africa, I am not talking about you as an editor or about what you and an editor as an editor particularly want to edit, let's say cars or um, Pokemon characters. If you're writing about content related to Africa, Africa cuisine, geography, people, this is on this top page is where you should carry on the conversations. Would you please think about that top page? Okay, 
in my view, I have some preferences turned on where I can see how many people have seen this page in the last 30 days, how many total comments have been and so forth, but it's, it's okay to not see it. But you can see here are all sorts of things people are talking about related to content on Africa. In my opinion, humble opinion, not enough. There are many people who write about Africa, not just Africans, not just African diaspora, many people who I don't know anything about who are writing about African content. And those conversations should be here. And you can see, just glance through here, these are the ones that are showing up. There's a bunch that are probably on high Yes, just a. Oh. Thank you, Rosie. Yeah, oh. just, just to add a little layer of complexity to the to Wiki Project Africa. Yeah. So Wiki Project Africa is subdivided into like 50 or so sub projects based yeah. in countries. And that like also adds a lot of complexity. complexity to it all. So, for example, I'm occasionally on Wiki Project Africa, but I'm very active, well, far more active on Wiki Project South Africa because that's just what I have an edit on. Um, and that, that does add a, like a level of of yeah. complexity to it as well. Yeah. And I'm totally opposed now in 2023. If you don't mind, I'm going to grab a chair. Because I'm 69 years old. <laughs> it is true that there are thousands of wiki projects, including country specific wiki projects like. Wiki Project South Africa and Wiki Project Nigeria, maybe Wiki Project Ghana, maybe maybe blah 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 blah. That's true. You can see how that divides you. Divide and conquer, some might say. I would suggest we consider instead That's not amazing. doing that anymore. You can write about South African topics and make a Maybe you or Mike understand how to do this, but within Wiki Project Africa, to be able to say it belongs to a quote unquote task force, mm -hmm. like a military history they have for biographies, for aviation, for all sorts of different kinds of task forces. But all of it is under the header of military history. Likewise, if all content about Africa was under one Wiki Project, there'll be more of you looking at it. And I would say there's so much that might be in common. A question you might have about an article about South Africa might be the same question you would have about a similar article that's in another country in Africa. Mm. So this would be something for you to talk about, maybe as part of the work that you do within WISCOM, maybe elsewhere, but I, I see it as being divided. In my country, I come from the United States, nor are these, I'll call them task forces, for lack of another word, for every one of the 50 states. So you can imagine if there was a Wiki Project Ohio, and only people writing about Ohio are on that, but the state next door to it, Iowa, might have content about Iowa might have the same kind of questions as content about Ohio. So. But that would be my recommendation, and that's what they've done at Military History, which is one of the oldest wiki projects, is they've developed all these different subdivisions as, I'm, I think they use the word task force, maybe there's a different word, but you understand the principle, and I would suggest you bring this up with um, Wiscom or whoever the leadership, where, where you have these kinds of questions, something that you would analyze. Because I think you would be more successful if all eyes could be on it versus just a few eyes. Okay, um, next uh, topic. Ah, article. I think I've made a slide actually for it. If you just go down one, one yes. more. So this one? Yeah. So maintenance templates, again, thousands of them. There's 178 different ones for cleanup templates, request templates with maintenance templates. 
43 of these, 10 of those, 68 of those. This is the tip of the iceberg, thousands of maintenance templates. Now you've seen them. It will be at the top of the article and it will say, this article is an orphan. You think, okay, that means I didn't link it to another article. No big deal, let somebody else deal with it. <laughs> or it might see it say, this article has been nominated for deletion. Or it might say it has zero categories. Or it might say that's only one source. Some people who are maybe like me like to deal with particular ones. I love dealing, I go to the list of all the ones that are orphans. There's a long list for the category. And I like to add a link to another article. And now we can remove the orphan tag. You can do something similar if there's something you enjoy doing. It also builds up your edit account, shows that you're a good citizen. And if it says this article has been nominated for deletion, then we got some work to do. So let's go next to, I guess so it's that one, um, articles for deletion. So it'll be Wikipedia colon, Articles, space, for, space, deletion. How many of you have written an article that's been nominated for deletion? So let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, hold on. Scroll up a little bit. And here's a list of things we can look at. Let's look at the ones who are nominated today. Actually, no, those are going to have the fewest comments. I, let's go back and let's go to the oldest. Yeah, let's go to one of those. Pick one. Yeah, that's right. Monday, October 23rd. And how many do we have here? Oh, here's some. Here they go. Here's more. Here's another one. Here's more. If you stop here, you can kind of see what people are saying. Find more sources, believe, keep our long-standing consensus, keep, keep. Generally, this is what happens at articles for deletion. People in the Wikimedia universe have seven days to make comments. At the end of seven days, an administrator makes a decision and then acts on it. The decision might be, we do not have enough comments, let's keep this longer at Articles for Deletion. Or the decision might be to delete the article, or to keep the article, or to merge the article into something else. My advice to you, if an article goes to Articles for Deletion, is go to Wikipedia talk page for Africa and write, this article has been nominated for deletion. Can someone help improve it? Otherwise, it sounds like you're canvassing and that's not allowed. You can't go to your 10 by these talk pages and say, doggone it. This my article I just wrote has been nominated for deletion. Would you go to Articles for Deletion and vote to keep it, please? That's called canvassing. You can't do that. That'll get your blog maybe ultimately banned. But what you can do is go to Wikipedia top page Africa and say, this article, here's a link, has been nominated for deletion. Can someone help improve it? And then you're not just talking to the people in this room. You're talking to everybody who belongs to Wikipedia Africa, Wiki Project Africa. It'd be me. I don't have to live in Africa to be part of it. So, I'm sorry. So, uh, yes, you just said something. So, uh, with what you just said, uh, something happened uh, around that. So, there was an article we wrote um, about a popular um, Ghanaian TikTok and um, later on in the months, we noticed it's been um, nominated for the nation. Uh, the funny thing about that whole process was the person said, 
the one who did the nomination, uh, she is not notable because she's a TikToker. Meanwhile, in the Ghanaian context, there's so many articles about her online. She had um, numerous controversies about her on, on various websites. And then she had a very popular TikTok which over, over 2 million followers. And we thought um, it was notable. So we have a, um, a user group a Telegram channel. And then we tried, um, I think somebody put in there that this article has been tagged by the nation, but somebody checked. And then people started looking at it, trying to improve it. But then the comments, so they, they, it became like a vote thing on the, on the article for the nation. And then I think after um, a number of votes, somebody will go and can close that section and readmit it to a vote. It goes all the way because the key votes keep overcoming the elite vote. And then it happened for like four times. And then I think it ended up the, the person who kept doing that um, saw the wisdom and the, the people, what the people were saying. For me, um, I didn't want to be part of it because I wanted to see what our community would want to would want to see how the process go, so that they also can understand that sometimes when articles uh, are are for deletion, and if you have something to do about it, um, you can go and edit it, or maybe if you think it's been edited enough, you can just add the people. So with what you just said. I want to know if that is covered. Thank you for the example. So at the bottom of each of these, um, we're, we, let's go back up. This is Sistemius Dominicus, but go up there was one about a woman. Keep going. No, no, no. Yeah, Ludmilla. Yep, click her. Oh, I thought we were going to be Amelia. We're directed. Ah, okay, not a good example. Okay, sorry. At the bottom of each article for deletion, it tells you if a wiki project has been notified about this article. Theoretically, well, not theoretically, in reality, if the article about that TikToker on its talk page said that it's part of um, what country was this TikTok? Ghana. Okay. If it said Wiki Project Ghana, Wiki Project Ghana would have been notified. If it said it was a man or woman, if it said women in red, women in red would have been notified. If it had on its top page Wiki Project Internet Culture, Internet Culture would have been notified. And all the people who belong to Wiki Project Internet Culture, Wiki Project Women in Red, Wiki Project Ghana or Wiki Project Africa would have seen that it's been nominated for deletion and would have been able to work on it. So just a TikToker of any nationality, somebody might think that TikTokers are not notable. Maybe your 95-year-old next-door neighbor or my 95-year-old next-door neighbor who's been on Wikipedia a long time thinks TikTokers they're not notable, but they're wrong. So if you remember to put on the top page of articles, these different um, uh, wiki projects that should belong to it, they will be notified and they will come and work on improving the article. And they'll vote. They'll vote keep. And what we're looking for is consensus, not a majority. We're looking for consensus. If the consensus is keep, 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 that's what it's going to be kept. But by keeping it to yourself or having your conversation off wiki with the small circle of 5, 15, 55 people, you're harming that article. Keep the conversation on wiki and keep it broad. I'm telling you here, if you are writing about a woman, women's works or women's issues and uh, suffrage, women's health, whatever, and you have a problem with the article and you write something on Wiki Project, Women in Red Talk page, 
You saw there are thousands of people who are going to look at that and try to save that article. Likewise for Wiki Project Internet Culture. I don't know how many people are looking at Wiki Project Ghana. I can say it's probably fewer than some of the other ones. Again, I think Wiki Project Ghana should become Wiki Project Africa. It should be a task force within there. But look at all the people who would have been notified if there were sufficient number at the appropriate um, uh, Wiki projects listed on the articles package. Yes, so just. I just noted that after um, the vote, um, the result was the subsequently added. Ah, subsequently. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Somebody did good. I am so happy to hear it. Now you know to do it in advance. After you create an article, after you start an article, after your first, second, or third edit on an article, put those talk page templates. We don't have time in this class to teach you how to use um, a, a uh, I don't know what it's called, like what's it called, an auto script, a tool for Rater, Rater, R-A-T-E-R. Okay, so I have Rater um, preference turned on. And so when I'm on the page for this TikToker, in the right-hand corner, I click on something, it shows me Rater, and I can start adding all the talk pages, all the uh, wiki projects that this should belong to without actually stopping to click on the talk page of this TikToker. I can just stay on her page and add all of them. It doesn't matter. You understand the concept. Add the different wiki projects. Yeah, right. I think it's gadget. Oh, okay. There you go. Rater. Rater. Gadget. Yeah. Um, maybe we should have a class on the difference between gadgets and tools and scripts and such. But um, <laughs> yeah, that would be a very, very long workshop. Okay. Next one. We don't want to do that. New article creation. We don't even have to go there. How many of you have started an article and noticed that it goes into the articles for creation? Nobody? You just started an article in main space. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do too. <laughs> I for so we won't talk about it. I, uh, just, just a comment. I have noticed that since a couple of years ago, the, the, thanks. I have noticed that uh, as of a couple of years ago, and obviously there was a yeah. change that was made um of the new people i'm coaching to teach wikipedia when they want to start an, an article when i'm coaching them through that process it'll do this and that that was something that i that i found surprising but a positive very positive mm. change because it helps the process of starting a first article right yeah. it's it's not it's not my process <laughs> personal opinion i am not speaking as i'm speaking personal opinion of rosie stevens and good night I think it's bureaucratic. And I think that if you want to start a new article, but not in main space, put it in your sandbox. Mm -hmm. My username is Rosie Step. Step are the first four letters of my last name, Rosie Step. So if I wanted to put something in my sandbox, a river in Morocco, the name of the river is Blue, I would do user Rosie Step slash Poo River. And when I was done working on that article, three months later, I would move it into main space. And if I didn't know how, I would reach out to somebody who does. You don't have to be an admin. You would certainly reach out to an admin or just write a note on the Wiki Project Africa talk page asking someone to do it, and somebody will do it. That's a really good suggestion. Okay. Um, the she thing about articles for creation is... It means it requires people to review the article and the backlog is months long. Oh, yeah. I think it was mentioned in somebody's session today that I was in, the Dofus, so I can't remember, but they said it's months long. Please be patient. This kind of circumvents the having to be patient. <laughs> okay. Next um, thing. You can, oh, yay. Okay. So on English Wikipedia, we're going to go to capital W, capital P, colon, capital N, capital P, capital P. New Age Patrol. 
Show of hands, how many of you know that this exists? Okay. If you are editing on English Wikipedia and you're creating a new article and you haven't been creating long enough, I don't know the definition of long enough, and you don't have enough edits, and I don't know the de definition of how many is enough edits, then you will not be auto-controlled, you won't have auto-controlled rights, and your articles will show up at New Page Patrol, and it will fall on people like me, or Mike, or somebody else to look at your article and decide, should we release it into the main space or not? It also decide, do we want to do something with the article? Do I want to add a header? Do I want to improve it in some way? Let's do a lot of things. So let's click on new page feed. Is that saying that the, the backlog can be as long as two years? It's an yeah. oldest article? Yeah, yeah, it's two years. Well, it's better. It's improved. <laughs> Listen, folks, it falls on all of us to be doing this. So we need you. you know, do you want to belabor the point about 69? I'm not going to be doing this forever, and I need you to understand so that this is so that next time we're not going to be here, you're the one up here doing this. Okay, we need you to be doing this. I'm teaching you how to do this, how to get there. And you're very welcome to tap me on. Don't send me an email drowning. <laughs> my talk page. Write to me, Rosie. I don't know how to do this. Help, and I will help. Okay. So you can see, here we go. Now, the ones here in orange are the very newest. And the recommendation is if it's so new, it's about 10 minutes old, don't touch it. Then go to 11 minutes, 12, 15 minutes. But stop. Let's take a look at what we can see right away. There's an article called Negron Surname, six edits to it, five categories, no citations. I haven't even clicked on the article. I see this right away about it. I see that it was created by somebody, Mr. Keith John, who thankfully wrote something on their talk page. And somebody wrote something on their talk page. So we have we have little information. This Mr. John Keith has 18,000 edits. And I'm wondering to myself, how can you have 18,000 edits and you did not bother to have a citation? Maybe in the next five minutes, you're going to add one. So these in orange, you can pretty much leave them alone and not look at them. This one, bright red, potential spam. I haven't even clicked on it. Do you think I want to look at it? Now, if I was my 15 year old next door neighbor, that person might be looking for all of them that are spam and then nominating them for deletion. And if they get deleted, it increases their edit count for articles they might delete it. And then when they're 16, they have five of the anatomy. Well, they don't. Their 16 year old um, next door neighbor nominates them for deletion. And everyone in their high school class on their soccer team joins to say what a wonderful person this is because. They are out there protecting Wikipedia, looking for the spam articles, nominating the deletion. They get deleted, so this person should be an admin so they can close the discussions that are about deletions. Okay? Yeah, so don't think it's you and me in the room making those decisions. Picture instead your 15 year old next door neighbor. Can you scroll down a little bit more? Okay. Uh, okay, slow down. If I see someone with 11 edits has created a new article, hasn't written anything on their user page, no categories, it's an orphan, it's potential spam, I'm going to have a very low threshold of thinking about that particular article. If they had 100 edits, 111,000 edits, probably they wouldn't say spam, no categories, and orphan. So this is my encouragement again, build up your edit account before you write a new article, because this is what we're seeing. Let's just click on one, let's click on Naresh uh, Chandra. Can you see what's wrong? <laughs> If you can't, this is someone who uh, 
is a director of something to do with mechanical engineering in India. You might go to the category for mechanical engineers, Indian mechanical engineers, to see what those articles look like. They don't look like this. So I don't need to explain what they should look like. Just look at 15 of them that, have, that are on Wikipedia and you'll see what's wrong with this one. Please. Scroll down a little further, please. It's like a LinkedIn profile. Going? <laughs> going down. Oh, you don't have controller rights. No. Okay, if you don't have controller rights, <laughs> there would be a link here that you would click to upload this article and then boom, it goes to main space, meaning that on a Google search, it'll show up. It's okay. It's still a very good example. So you can see kind of, and see what this looks like. This article might be something you could save. I am not saying that I've checked the notability for these sources. I haven't clicked on the sources. I haven't checked the post paraphrasing. If I felt like doing it, I could. And if I felt like improving this article, I would. And I do that. I've never, ever, ever nominated an article for If somebody else wants to do that, go ahead. I'm a volunteer. I get to do what I want to do. I don't want to do that. I like to improve articles. I could improve this one, but this is not one that I look at. Can we go back? So as you look at this, and you scroll, keep scrolling down, South Dakota's 14th legislative district. I know nothing about this topic. Anyone in the room know something about it? Those are the people who are gonna click on it and they're gonna check it out and decide whether to keep it or not. Send it to articles for deletion or not. Not gonna be me. There's gonna be thousands of articles that show up here. And even though I'm a prolific new page patroller, one of the highest counts of new page patrolling, I only look at a fraction of articles a day, maybe five, maybe seven, only on topics that I feel like I understand, like I understand really dead people, those articles. I understand articles about architecture. Those are the ones I'm gonna look at. All these other articles, I'm waiting for you to become a new page controller so that you can look at air pollution and Peshwar if that topic interests you. That's why there's a two year backlog because there aren't enough people who are doing the new page patrol. There we go. Okay, you're not on this. It's time for hi, it's time for QA. Mike. Mike, take the mic. Oh. <laughs> this is just a, a, a compliment of uh, uh, well, thanks, because I think you done already, Rosie done a really good job of convincing me that I need to go on on, on the uh, the new page patroller because I've already spotted three articles that like the, since <laughs> since Croix's water crisis. That's an issue I love. Um, even the 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 twelfth uh, legislative was it from West South Dakota? Yeah, Dakota's fourteenth district. That's also something I like. I enjoy doing. So yeah, thank you. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know, like, how somebody gets new page controller rights? You know, request them. I don't. I don't know how you get them. I got them because I'm an admin, but I don't know how. You don't have to be an admin to get that right. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know if I got it already, but I'm auto patrol. But uh, I, I just, I need to look into it. I think you, you, you apply. It. So there's a way to apply for it. But you need to demonstrate why you want to do it, and uh, you know, having a good track record of rescuing articles might be quite good. Mm -hmm. um, just to mention as well, um, I used to delete articles that uh, used to clear out 3D deletion a lot. I find it very difficult because you do see gems amongst all of this, and it's very difficult to see those being deleted. So if someone does have um, subject expertise, please do go along and try to fix some of these. More questions? Happy to win the mic round. So uh, for for me especially, um, I get frustrated a lot of the time because um, one of my main challenges is um, editing with the house um, editors not understanding the context in which we are coming from, and even getting um, very committed volunteers to consistently 
um, want to edit is hard. And once you get the few committed ones, usually after going through, I would say, the baptism of fire or this whole ad nomination for the election process, if they don't come out successful, some end it that way. So for for me, usually I want to know how we uh, within the region, um, the more experienced one can come together to help bring out a lot of this activities. I've spoken to a number of volunteers who I always say um, um, English Wikipedia, I tried so many times, they delete my article. I'm focusing only on maybe a language Wikipedia, which is good by the way, but then we also need more of them also, because there's a lot of content that we need to write about Ghana on in English Wikipedia. So they can't say the only focus on the local language, but some have actually given up on English Wikipedia and doing only local language or like indigenous languages because of this problem. So how can the more experienced one help with this? Just to come while walking the mic over, the references are really important. So do make sure to put as many of those in as possible, even not if they're not in English or also help. Don't create a new article until you understand the ins and outs of English Wikipedia. That's a sure way to not have your article deleted is don't create it. First, improve articles. That way you learn how English Wikipedia works. Like I said, look at 15 other articles in the same category as the one that you're interested in creating an article, and this is where you're going to learn. You don't have to read the policies associated with that. Just start by looking at 15 other articles that are of the same category as a Ghanaian TikTok um, celebrity that, that those articles are on Wikipedia and emulated. But don't do that till you build up your edit count. Every edit you make, you learn something. It's like saying you're going to run before you've learned how to crawl, or you've learned how to walk. I know people are eager to add new content. Justice, it's really the answer. I don't know if it's an answer on all Wikipedias. And only say on English Wikipedia, and this is not just true for African content. I work on women's content, and for years, delete, 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 delete. She's not notable. Delete, delete, delete. Not enough sources. Delete, 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 delete. Until we kind of learn. What do the people who first started making those policies, what do they like to see in an article? So we would look at the article about a man biologist, and we would try to emulate it about a woman biologist. And slowly but surely, we got more articles that weren't being deleted. You are not alone. It, you, the topic is Africa, but you are not alone with the issues associated with articles being deleted. The way we found is to encourage people to improve articles first before you create a new one. You will learn things. And come to Wiki Project Women in Red and write down if your article is nominated for deletion, write it there and ask for people to help you improve it. Those are the gems that I can share. It may not be exactly what you wanted to hear, but that, that's been the article. That's been the way that we've succeeded with women's content. I believe that then you can have that same success on African content. But as Douglas brought up, don't go writing something on a wiki project, on a, which might have, I don't know, 5, 15, 25, 35, 55 um, page stalkers. Pull them together so that your resources are all of you are looking on that top page. All the conversations you have about that article in Telegram don't count. How many people are in the Telegram channel who actually edit English Wikipedia that are looking at that and can give you constructive comments? I can tell you on Wiki Project Africa, everyone's going to give you constructive comments in that Telegram channel. People are going to say, I know, my article is always deleted too. I don't know why. No, 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 no. 
These are the secrets of success. Keep it on wiki. Keep it polite and professional. I mean, I was scared. When Roger Mamkin and I started Women in Red, we thought we'd have 15 minutes of fame. People with Wikimania, they'd say, great talk. Stuff Great talk. Yeah, wonderful. We thought, who's going to want to write biographies about women in any month except for March, when it's history month? Like, who writes biographies about women in November? Nobody. You're wrong. And that talk page proves it because that's what people went to ask for help. I think that that will help you too. But the start of it is don't create an article until you've improved other articles, till you know what you're doing. I mean, it just makes sense. If it's mathematics articles or physics articles, it's the same thing I would say. It's not just um, uh, geographic articles. I can finish that. <laughs> I think that was a perfect place to finish. So thank you very much, Rosie, for all the workshop. And if you have any more questions, please do get in touch with us and ask. And um, we'll carry this on, but we'll close the formal session now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Rosie.